My name is Phil. Some people call me Mr. Egg and I've been coming here to Thailand since 1996 on holiday and I've lived here, worked here, got my own business here for 15 years now. But something happened to me this week for the very first time. I was a victim of crime. Now, look, I want to point out straight away that it was kind of my own fault. Well, you can be the judge, but I was a bit careless and I got a very expensive mobile phone which got stolen while I was at this very 7-Eleven. It's about 7 p.m. and it's starting to get a little dark. This is a very, very busy 7-Eleven. Customers coming and going all the time. And my bike is parked around about there. And I've gone into the shop and unfortunately I've left my iPhone 13 Pro in a little compartment where everyone can see it. I've done it loads and loads of times before, but like a cat with nine lives, eventually it becomes a cropper. And this time, when I came out of the shop, I realized my phone was gone. Phone isn't there. I'm almost 100% sure that I left it in that little compartment. I get through my bag, I check through my bag, I can't see the phone. I'm checking my pockets and my phone isn't there. First thing I do is I come to my Apple Watch. Now, I've got an Apple iPhone and I'm on the iOS ecosystem. I'm sure there's similar um, system on Android. But on my watch, as long as I am logged into the same iCloud account, I can actually see my phone and other devices and I can not only track them, but I can also lock them. So the first thing I did is I came to my watch and I locked uh, the system on my phone so that a thief or potential thief uh, wouldn't be able to open the phone, look at it, and it also locked the IMEI number so somebody couldn't resell that phone. It would basically be worthless. It's just a brick. Like I previously said, I could see the location on my watch of my phone. It's not a massive screen, and to be honest, my eyes aren't brilliant, but I could see that it was about a hundred 150 meters away from me and it showed a map and basically it was saying that my phone was now between 50 and 100 meters down this road so that's exactly where I went the location was pinging around about here this is kind of a market you can get uh, cooked foods and you can get uh, raw foods to be cooked here um, and don't forget, once again, it's about 7, 7.30 at night, so it's getting a little bit dark, and the location is here, but the location accuracy is about, give or take, 20 metres. So it could have been here, or it could have been over the road here. Now, over the road, at the time, at 7 o'clock, there's loads of food carts there, there's obviously a Lotus there, there's a, a drugstore that's open, and one of the things that I noticed on my watch was that uh, I could play a sound on the phone that would, I would, what would aid me locating it, if you like. I pressed the button to play the sound and it was actually pinging the phone. It was connecting to the phone. So it was, in, was within Bluetooth range, if you like, of my phone, but it was somewhere around here. Imagine this scene with lots and lots more people. Obviously, it's not raining, but part right here, there was a big four by four car with its doors open, playing very, very loud Thai folk music. And I couldn't really hear a thing here. A little bit better over there, and I was frantically going around looking with my watch to see where the location was. It, it was in this area somewhere, and there was lots and lots of people here, but I just couldn't find it. And the loud music from this car that was parked here wasn't helping either. I tried for about 20 minutes to locate the phone. I couldn't do it. And so I decided to go back to the 7-Eleven, ask them to write down their address, took a photo of the 7-Eleven and decided that what I was going to do was go to the police station and get a proper report. I got the address of the 7-Eleven and then realized if I was going to go to the police station, I had to have my passport to make an official complaint. So I had to go back to the bar where I keep my passport when I got to the bar, I noticed that the location of the phone had changed. 
and it had changed to a restaurant here in Jomtien. Oh, great. I'll try and come to the restaurant, try and sort it out, maybe some mistake, offer a reward and get my phone back. So I came here with a couple of Thai guys, but when I got here, the restaurant was supposed to be here, but it's actually been demolished. And what is here is a demolition site with a few huts where some migrant workers uh, are sleeping at the time. We went inside the demolition site to try and find out what was going on. Bear in mind it's now sort of 10, 11 o'clock at night and the migrant workers came out, started talking to us. As I started talking and talking to them about my phone, I noticed that the phone then switched off. I could tell that from uh, my phone, that the, the phone had switched off. Um, the location information when the phone is switched on is very accurate. Not only has it got GPS data from satellites, but it's also got uh, location data from cell towers, the 5G cell towers everywhere. So it was very, very accurate data. It was definitely here. Once it's switched off, the, you can still locate the device, but the location data is not as accurate. It's almost like a kind of an air tag situation. So my first thought was to go to the Jom Tien police station, which is just on Dong Tan Beach. It was literally a two minute drive on my motorbike from where I was. So that's where I went. I went there and spoke to the policeman, told him what had happened. And he says, oh, we haven't got any police at this police station. You're not allowed to report crimes. You have to go to Soy 9. Soy 9 is here on Patio Beach Road, right at Soy 9. This police station has been here for a long, long time. So a few tips about coming here if you have to report a crime. And it doesn't have to just be missing a phone. It could be, I don't know, an assault. Or it could be, uh, you know, your motorbike's been stolen or whatever. First of all, really important, come with your identification documents, i.e. a passport. Uh, if you've come, if you had a phone stolen, in my case, good, good if you've got any uh, documents on that thing that was stolen. So uh, I actually had the box that it came in, which had all the IMEI number in and also uh, the serial number of the phone, the color, uh, the, the model and make, etc., etc. As much detail and information as you possibly can. By the time I got here, it was about 10 o'clock, and I'm going to be honest, it was quite busy and uh, be prepared to wait in a waiting room. There are people that will not only speak English, but also uh, there was somebody there speaking Arabic as well as other languages. So you will be okay. You will be looked after by the local police here. And I have to say, I've got a really good um, experience with the police. It's one of those times, one of those 1% of times when speaking Thai, a little bit of Thai, can go a long way and the police kind of warm to you i think they're surrounded all day by people that have no tie at all obviously holiday makers and tourists so if you can speak a little bit of tie and speak it politely it's a really good idea don't lose your temper or lose your rag you are going to have to wait a long time to to be seen and to have your details took down but give it time don't get angry because as you know in thailand that is the worst thing you can do uh, eventually you'll sit down, they will prepare a statement in the Thai language and they will print that statement off and you have to sign two copies, one for the police, one for yourself. So, for example, if your phone is insured or uh, if whatever has been stolen, you've got any kind of holiday insurance or travel insurance, then that police statement will be your document that you have to present if you're looking to get any money back, for example. So. Uh, we were then taken up to the third floor where we went to special investigations and we talked to the special investigations people there and they said that they really needed some CCTV to prove that the phone had been taken so that they could proceed with investigating because I had the location of this phone, I showed it to the police and they were kind of helpful but they says look we don't know you, you, this phone could have dropped out of your motorbike for all you know. Uh, so you need proof that the phone had been stolen. So uh, they told me some really important information. He says, why didn't you call 191? Nung Gao Nung in Thai. 191 is the emergency number that gets you through. And it's actually just on the floor, the second floor there above that red sign 
is where the incident room is. It gets you straight through to the incident room. They do speak multiple languages there and they will take the details. And if you need assistance immediately, then the police will do their best to get assistance to you. That magic number, write it down or memorize it, 191. Uh, they said, if I didn't get any joy with a phone that night, with them maybe phoning me uh, or contacting me and uh, receiving an, a reward that I'd put on the message that I'd put onto the phone, uh, they said that, uh, give 191 a call in the morning. So, uh, kind of drew a blank kept the police report safe and then I went back to the place where I could see my phone was located. So after having not a lot of success really at the police station other than getting a police report, I decided to come back here. By now it was about 1, 1 1.30 in the morning. Had a look around but it was very dark and it was still coming up as location here but I couldn't really see anything so unfortunately had to call it a day went to bed had a very sleepless night woke up the next morning went back to the 7-eleven tried to review any cctv uh, but they may or may not have had the manager came in at 9 a.m i've got to be honest seven weren't really that helpful they um they were very busy as i said before it's a very busy 7-eleven and the manager got a lot a lot of things to do i think had the police asked them to look at the cctv probably had a lot more success than we did but as of today two days after this happened we still haven't been able to see if there was any cctv of the incident i'm thinking there probably isn't finally me and my girlfriend came back here and to be honest one of the workmen here was so helpful let us into the site we were looking around on my mobile phone to see if I could get a, 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 as an accurate information of location as possible. But I really was having no look at all. In fact, this is the area that I searched. Exactly, talk about a needle in a haystack. If you could see my phone in this, then please let me know in the comments down below. I have to give a big thumbs up to True, who are my um, phone service provider literally getting a new sim card as long as you have your passport you can get your the same number on your phone and it literally took five minutes true were fantastic 7-eleven not so and the people here were very helpful as well i'm convinced basically what happened was maybe one of the people that stays here stole my phone they then um went to have something to eat came back here as soon as they realized that it could be tracked i think they panicked turned it off and have then now destroyed it and just put it in with the rubbish of this demolition site that's my thought on it um but who knows i gave everyone an opportunity to give it back with a money reward but nobody seemed to want to do that so that's my story the moral of the story is this number one don't leave your expensive 40,000 baht mobile phone out in the open where somebody can take it. Eventually, somebody will. Secondly, I would say, uh, if as soon as you know that a, uh, a crime has been committed, do what the police told me at the police station. Dial 191 immediately, and the police may be able to help you uh, immediately. The longer that it goes on, the less help that they can be. Thirdly, don't forget to lock your phone. Make sure that your phone, either on the Android or iOS system, is connected so you can you, you can locate it either on a watch or another device if it gets stolen. And fourthly, don't forget, go to the police station. Be very uh, polite. Be prepared to wait a long time. Dress smartly. Make sure that you've got uh, your identity documents like a passport. And in the case of a mobile phone, if that's what's stolen, make sure that you maybe have the IMEI number or some kind of identifying documents for that. If it's a vehicle, make sure you've got the registration documents or copies of them. So, that's my story. Let me know uh, if this has happened to you. Don't forget, I've been coming here now for over 25 years. This is the first real major bad thing that has happened to me here. So, 
let me know what do you think of what happened your comments down below are really interesting and I'll, I promise I'll answer all of them but for now thanks for bearing with me in the pouring rain here in Patia it might be raining but I just call it liquid sunshine see you soon don't forget my bars on soy diamond le pub and milk so for me Mr Egg see you soon bye, bye.